Breaking news out of Broken Arrow. Five people found dead in a home. We have live team coverage of this major overnight story beginning with Fox 23's Farron Salee live near 131st in Elm with how police say it happened and what's going on at the scene right now. Oh, they want to get a search warrant right now. They want to go and investigate the home where they found five family members dead inside. It's very active out here right now. This morning, you can see behind me uh, through the crime scene tape, Broken Arrow Police have set up a mobile command center. Further down the street is the home that they are all focused in on. We don't know the ages of all the victims just yet, but officers tell us some were kids. They found two people alive, one in critical condition. Let me walk you through this. It all started around 1130 when officers got a call about an unknown problem. Problem. They went to the home here on the 700 block of Magnolia Court and discovered five victims dead inside. The one juvenile in critical condition was rushed to the hospital. Another juvenile was unharmed, and police have him in protective custody right now. The police are not telling us how the victims were killed. We do know that they found two suspects a short distance away, and officers tell us that the suspects and the victims are related. We're getting more information about that. I'm going to stay on the scene. We're actually going to try to go around to the other side of this block and maybe we can give you all a closer look at where they're investigating right now. I'll have more updates for you coming up in 30 minutes. Live this morning in Broken Arrow covering news that matters. Farron Salee, Fox 23 News. Fox 23's Preston Jones continues our live team coverage from the Broken Arrow Justice Center with what he's learned about the two suspects. We know that both of those suspects are males, a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old, and they're both here in the jail in Broken Arrow this morning. Sergeant Thomas Cooper with Broken Arrow Police tells us that when officers got on the scene, neither one of the suspects was inside the house, but police quickly found them nearby. When the uh, officers arrived, it was still an uh, active scene. The suspects were apprehended just a short time after the original officers arrived. Police tell us that the two suspects, the five people dead, and the other two teenagers are all related and live together at the home where the crime happened. We know police are questioning the two suspects, trying to figure out what exactly led up to police finding five people dead inside that home. Uh, we're continuing to work very closely with the Broken Arrow Police Department this morning as they work to get answers as to what happened here overnight. We'll check back in coming up in the next half hour. Live in Broken Arrow, covering news that matters. I'm Preston Jones, Fox 23 News.